Hi guys, in this video I want to show you how to migrate your Unity project to use the new post-processing package of Unity 2018. This is the demo of my low-poly game kit that I start now without any post-processing effects. This looks a bit dark and boring. I removed the old post-processing stack, but it's a good idea to store the values of your post-processing profiles so that you can use them later on when you add the new post-processing effects. Ok, so let's go ahead and install the post-processing package. First open the package manager here in the window menu and then search for the post-processing package. At the moment it is in version 2.1.2, just select it and press install. After installing, press play to start the game and check if your game is still running without any errors. If this is the case, great. If not, open the assets menu and choose re-import all. Alright, after that select your main camera, then click add component and add a post-process layer. In the next step you can set the anti-aliasing and I set it to the fast approximate. Now you have to choose a layer for this, which isn't defined yet. So go to the layers drop down and define a new layer. This new layer I call post processing. Ok, then you can go back to your main camera and set the layer there that you just defined. After that we have to add a post-processing volume and for this I create a new empty game object and call it for example PPV, set the layer to post-processing that we just added and after that add a post-processing volume component. You can define the size of this post-processing volume but for the sake of this tutorial I set it to is global so that the whole scene is affected. Then I create a new post-processing profile and we are ready to add effects. The first one that I add is some ambient occlusion. Not too much, don't set the intensity too high. And after that, I add some color grading. Here I like to set the mode to ACAS, which is Filmic, and increase the temperature a little bit to produce a warm atmosphere. And after that, I increase the post exposure which can look really nice. You can see this is a great improvement. And then I add a vignette, also with a low intensity and smoothness. And the last effect that I would like to add is some bloom. I set it to 4 which really improves the scene here for the sky, the fire, the particles and stuff like that. Ok guys, this was how I migrated my project to the new post-processing package of Unity 2018. I really hope it was understandable for you. And if you like my videos and my channel, then don't forget to subscribe. The link to my Unity Low Poly Game Kit is added to the description below and if you have any questions, add these to the comments. If you want to support me, consider being my patron and I'll see you in the next one.